CEO Ronald Hicklin from Creating the Difference. I want to talk to you about lane shine and why it's important. So a lot of times people assume that the lane shine or the bowling ball changing surface actually happens from the lane. Actually what happens is the bowling ball has to go through all of the systems to come back to you. The ball return, the carpet, the accelerator, all of those frictions create friction on the bowling ball. That friction ultimately ends up making the bowling ball change the surface from wherever you started to, to a final surface where it's going to lane shine. What I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit about how we did a test to kind of prove that. We took a bowling ball and we actually just threw it in the back of the lane. We never let it hit the lane. As a result of doing that, we were able to capture roughly about a game worth of shots. And we were able to get the surface of the bowling ball before and now. The before scan is going to show you here. You're going to see we're right around 2,500 grit. Now we're gonna take the bowling ball that we just got back from the last shot and we're gonna take a scan and see what it is right now. What this device is, it's a surface ball scanner. It's gonna show us the surface of the bowling ball and we're gonna be able to get a good peek at what it looks like. You can see here from the numbers here, it says 4280. We're actually gonna rotate the ball in several different locations and orientations. Why that's important is obviously the bowling ball rolls around a lot on the lane as well as in the backstop. Forty-two ninety-three. what you're seeing is it doesn't matter where we put the ball. Let's go specifically on the track. We know the bowling ball would roll right about here. So we'll go right there in the track. Forty-three oh six. So the bowling ball is very, very consistent all over the bowling ball, not just the part that actually touches the lane, which is the track. Now you say, well, that's great, but then what can I do about that? So there's two things that you could do to help mitigate or, or minimize the impact of lane shine. The first thing you want to do is clean your bowling ball, because if you don't clean your bowling ball, it's going to get dirty and that dirt's going to negatively impact your reaction. We're actually going to take the bowling ball here. I'm going to show you that. We've got a brand new pad, nice and clean. We're going to spray some Wow Factor ball cleaner on the ball. And then we're going to wipe it off. Now, the lane is clean. The lane gets clean every time they use it. The lane has clear lane oil on it. So there shouldn't be anything on this pad if the lane was what was creating all the issue. But as you can see, there's some dirt on this pad and that dirt is coming from the backstop. We wanna make sure that you keep that off your bowling ball as much as possible. The next thing you wanna do is every three to six games, Get you one of the true cut sanding pads, preferably the one that's matching the grit you're looking for, and apply it on the bowling ball to be able to get the bowling ball back to its original condition. If you do that every three to six games, keep your bowling ball clean, and then last but not least, while you're bowling, use a pad made to be used dry while you're bowling during competition. That'll help keep the black, the dirt, and the oil off the ball as well. Doing all of those things is going to help give you the maximum amount of cleanliness on your bowling ball. That's going to hopefully keep your bowling ball at the surface that you want it at as long as possible. As always, if you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctbbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.